Many farmers have now got cattle housed inside. These house cattle are using the products of harvest. They eat some of the cereals you saw being harvested. And the silage made from grass. And they are bedded up with the bales of cereal straw. Other farms have animals inside all year, such as pigs and goats. They eat cereals and hay and lie on straw too. But of course, what goes in... This means that farmers have lots of manure to remove from their sheds where livestock are kept. This manure is not waste, it is recycled by spreading it on the land for the crops a farmer grows. This is a long practiced recycling process at the heart of many farming methods. This manure will rot down, adding organic matter and releasing nutrients for the following crops. Are you recycling your school garden waste? The new farming season is now underway. This is when any manure will be spread. The spread manure is worked into the soil, usually by ploughing. This helps the manure to rot and release its nutrients for the following crop. The land is then worked to break the soil into small lumps called tilth and create the right conditions for seed to germinate and grow. Once the farmer is happy with the seed bed, he will plant or drill the seeds. The crops drilled in the autumn are referred to as winter crops. They will be growing slowly all winter and then rapidly in the spring before being harvested next summer. So the crops being drilled are winter wheat, winter barley or winter oilseed rape. There are several different types of drills but they all do the same basic job. The seed is put in a hopper The seed is then passed down these tubes, it's usually blown with air, to be placed in the ground and covered over with soil. Here's the seed being covered over with soil now. Some farmers to save fuel and improve the soil are now planting crops using minimal cultivation.
Rather than turn the soil over like with a plough, they simply loosen it and plant the seed in one pass. Sometimes the seed bed may be rolled once the crop has been drilled. This helps with the control of pests such as slugs. The leaves of these newly emerged wheat seedlings have been damaged by slugs. Wildlife is seasonal too, especially birds which migrate or fly to other countries at certain times of the year. You are probably aware of swallows which visit us in the summer and have young whilst over here. But did you know that we also have migratory birds here over the winter? Thousands of birds like ducks, geese and swans fly in from Russia, Iceland, Scandinavia to escape the cold and icy winters of these countries. While you may not see these ducks, geese or swans in your school grounds, there are some winter visitors that you could see. Look for some different birds in your garden or school grounds which have come for the winter. Here's some clues for two examples of birds you could see. They are a member of the thrush family, like this missile thrush or blackbird. They are often seen in large flocks eating berries. Here's their calls to listen out for. One is named after the colour on its wings and the other after where it gets its food or fare. Try doing a web search for images using the keywords Winter Visiting Thrush.